the first step in any infertile couple's journey is possibly to start the treatment and the second step is possibly choosing where to get themselves treated friends today i'll be helping you to choose the correct IVF center or the correct fertility center for your treatment. Well, most people do a certain market survey to see which center is good. Unfortunately, what happens is the tipping point is sometimes the price of treatment. Well, is price the only factor that needs to be considered when it comes to treatment? Sadly, no. Price definitely is a determinant of choosing the center, but as a scientific person, one must choose the center depending on various parameters. Number one, the personnel that are involved. Is the clinician who's going to talk to you, treat you, tra I mean, tra take care of you, is he or she adequately trained? Has the person undergone the uh, required I I mean, IVF procedures? to actually be donning the role of an IVF specialist. The embryology lab has embryologists. Are they trained adequately? The nurses, have they been trained and registered? So personal becomes a very important thing. Second important thing is possibly the equipment. There is a huge range when it comes to the costing of equipment too. So is the center that you're going to choose using the optimum equipment that is necessary to safeguard the interests of yours and your gametes. I mean, the equipment ranges from the ultrasound machine, the suction machine that is used to pick up your eggs, the test tube warmers, the IVF workstation, most important, the incubators where the gametes have to lie in culture for about three to five days. Is the ICSI machine up to standard? Are the cryo tanks of good companies? All these things make a huge difference on your outcome. The third very important thing is possibly the disposables, the drugs and the media that we use. A lower costing drug might not give you an optimum response. So better quality of drugs would entail a possible higher cost. Second thing is what disposables is the center using? Are they using IVF compatible dispo uh, disposables? Are they using IVF grade media? There are huge amount of variations in cost when it comes to all these small, small things. And of course, another very important thing which adds to the cost is, is the person or the, is the center giving adequate transparency? Are they following ethical procedures? Both ethics and transparency also increases the cost because when you're following the law, at times, there are no shortcuts. And when there are no shortcuts, there is no cost cutting too. So, when you choose an IVF center or a center to treat infertility, please do not let cost be the only determinant factor. See the doctors, see the people around, see the protocols they are following, see the standards, see the past history of the center, and also have a peep into the equipment they are using have a peep into what disposables they are using. If possible, ask about the culture media that they are using. And if they are all top class, please choose that center which is following the best protocols for you. Thank you.